What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with another episode of Awesome Stuff. Just another great little invention. And after the last episode, you guys left a ton of great suggestions about what I should do next. And uh, well, there were really a couple suggestions that kept coming up over and over again. But one of them that kept coming up was make a spud powered engine. And I thought this is really, really cool because we've got a piston powered engine. We've got now a magnet mod powered engine. And uh, it would be really, really cool to do a spud powered engine. Of course, we've done a thruster powered engine before a long, long time ago where you use thrusters as pistons and it's just terrible. But the basic piston engine, which, you know, I always reference is this inline four piston engine. It works pretty well. And basically that little spinning concrete block there tells which sensor to fire which piston in order. And so it'll always go in the same direction. Regardless, it's a really cool engine. And I thought, you know what, let's make a spud powered version of the same engine. And that's exactly what I did. And so I took this engine and I basically made an identical copy of it. Except instead of having the pistons directly hooked up into the shaft, we have these spud gun sections here you can see hooked up and they've got these sort of individual pipe pieces, I guess, going through a grooved slot. Now this is all just free floating. So each of these pieces just free floats and they'll just kind of bounce around. You turn it on like so. And you know, we'll just, we'll just, we're just going to move, let's we'll move the... Let's move the cars out of the way. We've got some we've got some cars here. The same setup as before. It's always going to spin in the same direction because of the shape of this uh, this piece here. But I mean it works pretty well. And so they they fire and you'd think like this is really really awesome. You've got a spud powered engine. And so I thought, you know what? Let's just take this engine here and we'll mount it to a car. Now there's one big problem with using a spud engine on a car. So here we've got the spud engine mounted vertically, so we're just going to shoot our spuds up into the air. And uh, we've got just a little simple sort of gearing system here. So we've got a back axle and then we've got just a little gear tooth that gets extended when we push this piston into it. And you can see if we fire up the engine, it takes a little bit to get up to speed, sometimes glitches out just because of the collisions and stuff. But overall, it's pretty good. But as soon as we hit two and we put load on it, um, like it, it can't do anything. You can see it can barely spin it. And the reason why, and here's the problem, and this is exactly it. So you can see no spud guns are firing right now. So we're not getting any power. But the engine is still in a position where it's saying, you know what, this spud gun here, whichever one's attached to this sensor, should still be firing. And this is sort of the problem. With the magnet motor and with the piston motor, the pistons and the magnets give a constant force whenever you trigger them on. So in this position here, for example, as soon as we hit this switch, the pistons that are covered by these sensors are instantly going to deliver power. And even if the engine gets stuck, they're going to keep pushing power and they're going to keep trying to push the engine and spin it over. Whereas this spud engine, it's only going to shoot whenever the sensor gets activated once and then it doesn't shoot so i decided to make a, a much better spud engine and the solution is of course to put each spud on a repeater so when you send a signal to this spud it just keeps firing the cannons over and over again until it's off that spud position and that kind of makes it better and then of course that gives us this massive vehicle here so this is the spud vehicle 5000 uh we had to put I don't even know. I think it's like 100 something, 152 spud guns. Each cylinder has this automatic timing loop system. So each timing loop will basically keep shooting the spuds over and over again until the engine moves out of that sensor position. And so if we turn this on, you can see it's, uh, it already is moving forward just on the sheer force of the spuds. But you can see it looks really, really good. And then of course, when we actually put it into gear, it doesn't really drive that fast. I mean, it, it drives, but you can see there when the spuds get stuck, it just keeps shooting that same one over and over again. And it will drive, but for the amount of spud guns you need, I think you could make this drive a lot faster if you actually had the spud guns just aiming behind it. But it is a working spud engine, so it is taking spud power and it's turning it into piston movement. Of course, I wouldn't want to be above it as you're... Look at... Oh my god, look at all those potatoes. That is ridiculous. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't want to be above... And we're stuck. And we're, we're stuck. See, it, it's still going to keep... It keeps firing the same piston that it wants to fire until it gets the engine to that next position. So it's constantly working. It's it kind of like a piston. It's giving it uh, not really constant force, but as constant as it can over and over again. So what I want to do is I actually want to test how powerful this engine is against the magnet engine. We know the piston engine is much more powerful than either of them, and that's really simple. I mean, here's the same setup, kind of a little wonky, but same setup with the piston engine, and you can see just the power is just instantly better. I mean, there's no there's no question about it that these pistons are much more powerful than spud guns, and that's 152 spud guns. So, I mean, you know, one set of pistons is, is clearly 
just a lot easier. I mean, one piston is what, greater than like infinite spud guns probably because the piston just has that physical push and it's on a constant, you know, force. So I think, I think no matter what, you're never going to beat a piston engine with a magnet engine or a spud gun engine. But I am curious to see if we take this massive spud gun vehicle and we take this engine out of it and we hook it up to a magnet engine, which will actually be faster. All right, so here we go. So we've got the magnet motor attached to the other side of the spud engine. Now the spud engine always spins. Okay, it always spins in the, uh, the... I guess clockwise direction if we're looking at it from this side. Okay, and the magnet motor we can spin in either direction. So which way is clockwise? Okay, that's that's the counterclockwise. Okay, perfect. So this is the top switch. So obviously if we spin the magnet motor, you can see it spins the whole assembly. Does a really good job. And uh, if we spin the spud motor, you can see it spins the whole assembly. Just based on the speeds, I mean, it's clearly obvious that the magnet motor is going to win. But anyways, here we go. So we've got the spud motor. Maybe it's enough speed for the magnet motor to kick in and do that weird reverse glitch. But here we go. Let's see if we kick in the magnet motor, what happens. Yeah, it does that weird reverse glitch. It just actually makes the spud motor shoot way faster. Okay, hold on, hold on. So let's kick the magnet motor in first. And now activate the spud motor. That It actually also does the same thing. It actually speeds it up. That's amazing. So the only way to test it is to see... If we activate both at the exact same time, which direction it spins in. So here we go. In three, two, one. And it's the magnet motor. Hands down. And then the spud motor actually speeds it up. Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised. Again, the magnet motor delivering that constant power. Whereas the spud motor, you know, just, just giving it kind of weak power. I'm definitely not going to be making more spud motors. I think they're the most useless kind of engine you could possibly make in Scrap Mechanic. I mean, the amount of spud guns this thing needs just to barely move is kind of pathetic. And I, I don't think it's, it's, I don't think there's going to be any way. I mean, maybe if you use like modded spud guns that had like a super powerful recoil, you might be able to do something, but I don't think you could really make a spud gun vehicle that's, you know, very, very powerful without using, I mean, okay, here's the second test. Okay. So the final test, we're going to just get rid of this, this setup here. Okay. And we're going to delete this. And I bet you if we take this thing here and we disconnect each of these spud cylinders and simply just weld them to the back shooting i think we'll get faster momentum just from the amount of recoil these things have compared to actually you know use the pistons up and down here we go okay so we're going to disconnect this one disconnect this one all right so there we go so we've got a little blinking timer on the back no problem and then we'll just hook up all these spud guns like straight to the back piece and i bet you this will go faster here we'll just we'll just weld this like this perfect and we'll just grab like a stack i mean i originally spawned this map so i could drive around this course and then i realized these things can't even go up like a single hill and they kind of bottom out on everything and they have no power so they're just they're just about useless i mean they're not i wouldn't say completely useless but on a you know one to ten scale i'd say they're they're fairly useless i think that's it yeah already you can tell this is going to be oh my god Oh my, oh, oh my god, this is an adventure in lag. Whoa, we're not supposed to shoot that many cannons at once. Did, did I, did, did, did we break it? Uh, what? Uh, what? 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 I don't know what's happening. So apparently spud guns are like pistons where if you try and use a million of them all at once you actually will destroy the game. So we're just going to we're going to remove a bunch of them and just try and drive around here with this this vehicle. I mean, it's obvious, it's very very obvious with the whole lifting off the ground thing that these are much more powerful than having them on a piston car. But we'll just remove that whole top stack. Hopefully that's enough so we don't completely destroy the game. Um Yeah, no, you can see is it, it oh oh boy oh no no yeah it doesn't it doesn't like shooting a lot of spud guns it really it really doesn't in rapid succession which is weird maybe there's just too many objects on this map spud objects or maybe it's because i have the mod spawn like the electromagnetic mod i'm not really sure um uh, but we're just going to remove another row of guns here all right this is definitely a much faster vehicle as you can see yeah look at that there we go now we're, we're cruising with some speed Seems to be okay with this amount of guns. Uh, literally no ability to turn. Oh, no, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. But anyways, I am going to upload this spud engine vehicle to the workshop. I did really enjoy making this. I mean, I really just kind of wanted to prove that it, it could be done, I guess. I'm sure someone's got a better spud-powered vehicle. And of course, it is more effective to just have the spud cannon shoot backwards than actually try and power 
this piston mechanism, but it is a really, really cool idea, and uh, I'm glad it works, just not very well. I still think I would pick an electromagnetic motor over this kind of setup any day of the week, and even then, a piston motor would be even better, but let me know what you think in the comments down below, which one's your favorite, and of course, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button while you're at it, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time. You know, it's weird that this doesn't crash the game.